What's up guys welcome to our channel eTechnies. In this video we will talk about how to fix Windows Explorer not responding in Windows 10. We will discuss the methods from basic to advanced so that you can use those methods and fix your Windows Explorer problem which was not responding properly in your Windows 10. But before going further, I like to suggest you to watch the complete video before you opt for any of the method given in this video. Because that's the way how you have to troubleshoot any of the problem in Windows PC. Watch the complete video then and only use the method which you think help you to fix your problem. Without further ado, let's talk about the methods. Method 1. Restart Windows Explorer. For to restart Windows Explorer, do a right click on the bottom bar. Click on Task Manager. Here you have to scroll it down and search for Windows Explorer. You can see the Windows Explorer in here. Click on it. Do a right click. Select Restart. Or you can select it and click on Restart from here. Method 2. Reopen Windows Explorer. Do the same thing. Click on the bottom bar and do a right click. Click on Task Manager. Click on Files, click on Run New Task, type Explorer.exe. Make sure you are typing the correct spelling in the Run bar, EXPLORER.exe and click OK. Here I like to mention one more thing. If you are not able to see your desktop screen or the bottom bar or anything on your computer screen after typing the password of your Windows 10, then you can simply open the task manager and follow the same method to open the explorer.exe. I understand if you are not able to see the bottom bar then how you can open the task manager. On your keyboard on the left bottom side you will see CTRL key which is known as control key. Press and hold it down. Afterwards up to that key you will see shift key. Press and hold it down as well. Once you are holding both of the key you have to click on escape key known as ESC on your keyboard. After pressing all these keys all together, you can open the task manager. Follow the same method, click on files, click on run as new task and type the command and open it. Once you open it, you can able to see the wallpaper, the bottom bar and the icons on your screen. Method 3. Disable panel. If you have selected the panels for to see any information related to files in the folder, then we suggest you to turn off those options. For to turn off those options, click on files. If you are getting an error message that Windows Explorer not responding, when you try to see the information of any folder or file, then you should have to turn off the panels in your PC. For to turn off the panels, click on file explorer. Here click on this arrow, click on view. If you have these option preview panel and detail panel on then turn it off. Simply click on it and you can turn it off. As you can see when I click on preview panel it show me the information to select a file to preview. If I click on detail panel it show me an option to select any folder and I can see the detail of that folder. Method 4. Change quick access to this PC. Whenever you restart your PC and you start getting this error message, that means you have to change the quick access of Windows Explorer to this PC. Click in here, type file and you can see file explorer options in here. Click on it. As you can see file explorer option, here you have to change the quick access to this PC. After changing the quick access to this PC, click apply and OK. Here, as you can see the information, file explorer history. If there is any kind of problem related to the history of the file explorer, from here you can clean your file explorer history as well. Or either you can restore file explorer to default. If you are getting the error because of the history, then simply click on clear. Or if you want to restore it to the default setting, then you can click here. Method 5. Delete thumbnail cache. Here you have to run a command. For that, click here, type run, open it. Here type clean mgr. As you can see the command, click OK. Unselect the other options, scroll it down. As you can see, thumbnails are selected. Click OK. 
and select delete files. Method 6. Rollback Windows Update As we all know, sometimes we get a problem when we update a Windows 10. For that kind of issue, we can roll back a Windows as well. For to roll back the Windows, click on Windows icon or we can say Start. Click on Settings. Here scroll it down. Click on Update and Security. Click on Recovery. Here you'll see the option to roll back your Windows 10. As you can see, I'm not able to see that option in here. It comes up after reset this PC. It show up in here to go back to the old version of Windows 10. I do not use to update my Windows 10 frequently. That's why I'm not able to see that option in here. But you'll surely see the option so you can roll back your Windows 10. Method 7. Update Windows 10. For to update the Windows 10, you have to follow the same method. Click on Start. Click on Settings. Scroll it down. Click on Update and Security. Here click on Check for Updates. Method 8. Reset App Setting. Sometime you'll see this error of Windows Explorer not responding because of the application problem. I mean to say the application running in your PC might can cause Windows Explorer not responding error show up in your Windows 10. For to reset your apps, click on Windows icon, click on Settings. Here click on Apps. On the left hand side click on Default Apps. Scroll it down, click on Reset. Method 9. SFC Scan and DISM Scan After running all of the method, if none of the method working for you, then this method you should have to implement on your PC. Here you have to run a command which is known as SFC Scan to scan the corrupted files in the folder and afterward run DISM command to check the health, to scan the health and to restore the health. Let me show you the commands. All of these four commands are mentioned in the description so you can copy these command and paste it in PowerShell. For to open the PowerShell, do a right click on Windows icon, click on Windows PowerShell and select the admin option. Click yes and paste the command one by one. Paste this command and press enter. Same goes for these command. Paste it and press enter. Paste this one and then press enter. These command gonna take some time. Along with this, I like to tell you, it has been suggested on tech forum, if you run SFC scan three times, once in a row, like you type SFC scan space forward slash scan now and press enter, it will take hardly 10 to 15 minutes to scan everything. After scanning everything, again paste the same command and run it. And the same thing you have to do third time. After running the SFC scan three times, paste DISM command and run it. Same goes for the scan health and the restore health. If any of the method helped you to fix the problem related to Windows Explorer not responding, then do not forget to let us know in the comment section which method helped you to fix the problem. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.